Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Alhaakum al takathur, hatta zurtum al maqabir, kalla sawfa ta'lamun, thumma kalla sawfa ta'lamun. Indeed, you are busy with the worldly affairs, competition with one another, trying to race with one another, trying to prove something to one another. People putting pictures of the stuff that they own, or shall I say, trying to own, or are indebted to. Why? Because they are too busy in rivalry. I have to prove the other person wrong. I need to see him, I'm doing better than him. Everyone's racing with one another. Until you visit the graves. Allah says, until you visit the graves. And no, surely you're going to know. And Allah repeats this statement. Brothers and sisters, a, little, a very beautiful brother called Khidr, who I had the honor to work with in his, uh, on, on, uh, with Iman channel. A very beautiful brother that I know him through three things. Three things I know him. I met him very briefly. I did a bit of present, presenting with him, but I know him for three categorical things. The first one is brothers and sisters that he would tell us a bit about his story. When I met him, when we sit down, we'll talk and eat. He would tell me a story about, you know, he used to chase, you know, music and all this kind of stuff. And he was working with certain people in the industry. And how Allah guided him. And he used to cry. Every time he used to tell me a story, he used to cry. The guy, he spoke from his heart. He used to always get in tears and cry. The second thing I remember him is how soft he was spoken. Like, I have never, ever, I think, ever come across anybody so innocent and sweet in his speech. Like, so soft that when you look at him, you will say, this person, I don't think he's the type to backbite. I don't think it's the time to talk up ill about others. His demeanor and the words that came out of his mouth is something where you would like, nah, this guy and backbiting are contradictions. Like, it, it wouldn't. I'm not saying people can fall into it, but it's not something that you would expect. He was very soft-spoken, very gentle, always assuming the best in people. Wallahi, a beautiful man. The third thing which I loved about Khidr, Wallahi, is, and it amazed me, when he would talk about his past, another thing that he would always talk about is his mother. Continuously, continuously, he would talk about his mum. How he takes care of his mum. He lives in London but has to travel all the way to Birmingham because she's not well. She's got arthritis and a few other illnesses. That he would go and cater for her two to three times a week. And I can remember at one point I was looking for a phone or I was <clears throat> selling my phone. I can't remember on Instagram. And he was saying, oh, Aki, I'm thinking of buying my mum a phone. He was at the service of his mother. This guy was at the service of his mother. Wallahi, Wallahi Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu an. He saw a man, a Yemeni man, having his mum on his shoulders, going around the Kaaba. And the man, after he finished the tawaf for his mum, he came to Umar and said, Oh Umar, have I paid my mum back for what she has done for me? Umar looked at him and said, You have not paid back your mother for one uff, she said when she's given birth to you. One uff. There are Muslims who abuse their mother, who swear at their mother. I've seen with my own eyes and heard in my own ears. This video, in a nutshell, just wrap it up, brothers and sisters, is in his memory. Because I can vouch, and I was standing in front of Allah, to what kind of man this man was. He even planned to go Umrah, or Hajj, if I'm not mistaken. He changed his ways, alhamdulillah, and he used to pray Qiyam. He used to pray Tarawih with the brothers. When it was Iman channel, when I was down, finished presenting, I would come down. He would sleep there on the couch and pray. This is what he's known for. And we will testify to Allah on your maqiyama that we saw our brother praying, looking after his mom and regretting his past, which is a form of repentance anyways. May Allah give you the highest ranks of Jannah or Khidr. Oh Khidr, if you do not see us in paradise, ask about us. You was a beautiful soul. You was an amazing soul. And when I say this, I get sh I'm getting shivers. You will be missed, Aki. May Allah bless you. May Allah grant you the highest ranks of Jannah. May Allah give your family patience. You was a beautiful soul. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept you. We know you through that. And we will remember you through that, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we're all going to die. What are you going to be remembered for? Your friends coming and pouring alcohol down your grave? Huh? Is this what you want to be remembered for? That you was a gangster? Yeah, you was a force that you was a, what, what was you, huh? That you used to backpipe each other? May Allah give us a good ending. May Allah accept it from us.
May Allah allow us to serve his religion with our wealth, with our health, with everything that we have, inshallah. There is a Sadaqah Jariya project of two wells with Ummah Welfare Trust. The link will be there. Please give whatever you can. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you guys. Keep us firm. This life is not worth it, brothers and sisters. Do not be busy showing your proving yourself to other people. Be busy and occupied proving yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because at the end, every single one of these people that you're trying to prove to are all going to leave you. And you know what? They're going to be against you. The only one that's going to be there for you is Allah. Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sorry guys, um, because the video was quite emotional, I forgot to mention, he actually passed away and he went to do wudu. And when he went to do wudu, the moment he stepped out with the intentions to pray, he collapsed and died. I'm so sorry, uh, I forgot to mention this, but this is how he died, a beautiful death. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from him. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك why don't you join us for the biggest game show on TV this Ramadan? The quest for Umrah every Sunday is in Ramadan from 6 p.m. Where you have the opportunity to win a trip to Umrah. Takbir! Allah! The quest for Umrah. Sundays at 6 p.m.